All right, today we'll get to try to take down the weather station. See it up there? All right, here's how it's supposed to work. These antenna masts. This is all in theory, by the way. Okay, cross your fingers. Hope we don't crash and burn. Moved everything into the garage. See, leather station right there. There it is, workbench. And uh, this way, I can work on you know where the tools are. Can you hear that? Can you hear that music? That's our very annoying ice cream man. We've gone in about an hour. Okay, what I'm doing. Right there, at the top of the weather station, I got a different mount. I need that mount there for uh, putting the uh, the thermometer um, in a different spot. It's way too high. It's about 10 degrees. Um, it's measuring about 10 degrees warmer than uh, any other um, weather station around town because it's way up on the roof and it's getting all that uh, heat from uh, the house. So we're going to put it down right underneath the rain gauge. And so I need that little part right there, so we get to adapt it with a different part. That has a thermometer, so the radiation shield. These are anti pigeon spikes. I uh, epoxy these nails on there so the pigeons won't sit up there. It's working for the most part. There is some bird poop on the weather station itself. And this is a radiation shield and this is the the thermometer and the um, um, uh, humidity sensor. It fits up inside here like that. And then this is gonna go uh, underneath the rain gauge uh, approximately three, four feet above the ground and it should give us a, a more accurate temperature reading. This is the anemometer, tells you the wind speed. This is the um, the weather vane, I think it is. This tells you the direction of the wind, of course. There's a solar panel. It helps power the uh, temperature and the um, anemometer. Uh, during the daytime so it doesn't use uh, as much batteries as you can see the pigeon spikes there is some pigeon poop there or some sort of poop uh, little shits that's the piece I need a little special adapter I'm going to replace it with this one Rumble tool. I'm so glad I bought this. This thing is handy.
It's uh, January. Let's check the date. January 24th. Our ice cream man is still playing Christmas music. Just bad my neighbors with the Christmas lights still up. By the way, I have tire today. The thing. Anyone that's uh, traveled through Arizona along I-10 has seen the signs for the thing. Next time you're traveling through, if you haven't already been there, check it out. It's a sight to see. No! <laughs> it doesn't fit. Ugh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do now, but I suppose um, if you see the rest of this video, I figured something out. <laughs> I figured something out. It's a sixteenth of an inch too big. Maybe we'll use the Dremel. See that? Fits like a glove. The Dremel. So glad I bought it. This is the UV sensor. It's an add-on that I got for the weather station. It doesn't seem to work very well. Um, I'm going to put it up there and hopefully it'll start working. Um, either way, i got to put it on there to see how it's going to mount and then i got to send it back and take the whole weather station back down next week and send it back. It's ready to go back up. I'm not going to paint it right there. Right there. I'm not going to paint that section. You won't be able to tell when it's up there. And I think I got to take it down and send back that UV sensor. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to bore you with putting it back up because you saw it come down. It goes back up in reverse order and the batteries are almost dead. All right. Thanks for watching. <laughs>